So, turns out, you're a bit lonely. No new discovery there. No, our caveman counterpart didn't discover bronze again, kicking off the Bronze Age. And no, the UK has not had its second coming of the Industrial Revolution. The rest of the world really should thank the British for what we did. But no, you've been lonely for a while, and you're seeking out that someone that can actually withstand your horrid personality, and constant yapping about which Pokemon has the roundest ass. It's Pikachu, by the way. Well, not only is there not a single person in the world that can handle your bullshit, but the world has changed in a way where it's harder to meet people outside of the internet. Most time nowadays we have more online friends than we do IRL, but your style really can't be captured in most dating apps. You are someone that shit posts, someone that browses Reddit and 4chan, and the normies just don't get you. You need a girl that is the same as you and is the Chlorine 35 to your Chlorine 37. Well, there is an app just for you, and it's called Dualicious. I came across this app from a suggested YouTube video, conveniently after uploading my VRChat dating video. And apparently, there's a worse side to dating than VRChat. I know. Surprising. But after seeing that suggested video, it lunged its finger straight into my prostate, and I immediately knew I had seen this app before. And it was bugging me, like a popcorn kernel in my very British teeth. Then it finally came to me. I'm at the blow. Almost half a year ago, I did a video on 4chan, a platform in which was this app's target audience. And it was being pushed and advertised almost everywhere on that website, and its very close hated relative, Reddit. Displaying itself as a place for people that use these platforms, to find people like-minded, and get romantically involved with. Like they were hard pushing in clear text, out in the open, this app is for degenerates, incels, and femcells, a dating app for 4chan users and reddit users, and they prided themselves with this. And if any of you just had the idea of downloading this app, don't. And I'm gonna tell you why. But first, what is Duolicious? Non-chat, if you're an incel, please just leave a comment below and I want to talk with you because it really devastates me that I will never get Chad. Well, as said before, it is a dating app. Or in their own words, an online dating app but based and true love-pilled. Just reading the sentence advertised on their own website, I can tell nobody's going to get a crumb of genitalia. And on its own website it says it sets itself apart from all the other dating apps, and instead goes off personality instead of appearance. Doesn't that sound familiar? And it does actually differ significantly from Bumble and Tinder, where on those platforms you have a swiping feature, where you basically swipe if you like somebody, swipe left if you don't. And if you both swiped on each other, then you match and then you start talking. But Duelicious does it a bit different. Instead of swiping, you answer a few questions. 2,500 in total. Questions like, is it important that your partner can appreciate a good meme? Yes, my partner must appreciate Gachi. Slaves, get your ass back here! Or I'm completely unattracted to them. And would you date a robot if they had a great personality? I'm pretty sure people have already tested this. You have people dating AI nowadays. And the Jenny mod. And my favourite, would you want a partner who can solve a Rubik's Cube in under a minute using only their feet? I know for a fact at least some of you have that fetish. And I hope you contract genital warts from their feet. Anyway. Duelicious will use all your answers to these questions and give you a score in each category, ranging from personal traits to your beliefs. And with that, they use an AI to match with people they think would you would match well with. Most of the time with similar traits and beliefs, even displaying a percentage score of how much you are compatible. And that is their replacement for the swiping method. 2,000 questions they totally aren't using to harvest your data to match you with a fellow degenerate. And the best part is, you won't even know if they like you as well. Once again, there is no liking system, it just chooses people they think you would be compatible with. So they could be completely repulsed by you, but you may still think you still have a chance due to a few integers and a percent sign. And usually like it works on other apps, you get told the other person likes you and then you probably send a message. But no, on this app you get a phone book of people that you may be compatible with, 
and you're supposed to be messaging them one by one. So for some of you, it may not impact your ego, like on other apps where you see zero likes almost daily. You know what? This, this is bullshit. This is bullshit. But you have to go out of your way to send messages to people that probably never even liked you initially, unlike the other dating apps. Unless they're like one of those other people on dating apps that just spam like. Like, come on, you can't be that desperate. But if you're looking for your Prince Charming, or Megan Fox, you're going to have a hard time finding them. Not just because all 4chan users and Reddit users are utterly repulsive, but due to the fact that most profiles on this app don't use their IRL face. A lot of them use anime profile pictures and memes. So if you are someone that goes off looks entirely, it's going to be like finding gold with a metal detector in a field full of landmines and you are blindfolded. But you also have groups on the app. They go under your profile and tell people basically what your interests are. Most females tend to have the fem cell group under their profile. And God forbid, the Hello Kitty one. But that is basically dualicious. The only thing left to say and go into would be the actual people themselves using it. Who well, majority are degenerates. The terms bed rotting and League of Legends player are rampant here. <coughs> yes, we have an app that has concentrated the population of League of Legends players in one place. If this app was a room, it would be actively eroding just from the body odor alone. But despite all the benefits I have listed, this app doesn't have the best reviews. From people complaining about the UI, to constant technical difficulties, to questioning the point of some of the questions. Questions that when answered are supposed to match you with the lover of your life. That is not happening anytime soon, buddy. And then you have some positive reviews where people have actually found someone to love. And then you have the opposite where some people are parched in an ocean of drinkable water but we will go over some of the encounters people have had on this app. But for now, does it actually work as a dating app? And are there actually incels and femcels on this app? I'm in the thick of it, everybody knows. They know me where it snows, I skid in and they froze. Well, downloading the app and making a totally accurate profile, because, you know, I need to find a gamer girl that can queue up League of Legends with me and give me a reason to finally swallow that cyanide pill. Just meeting that woman would probably be enough, but the League of Legends is just an insurance plan. I made the most normal profile possible, just outlining my interests and answering the questions, and following the standard of having just anime profile pictures. So I put the best anime character in existence, and threw some memes on there representing the fact I'm looking for a mentally ill girlfriend. And after answering the nonsensical, brain-numbing, like a lobotomy would have given me more mental satisfaction, questions that would match me with the love of my life, I'm finding out that the AI thinks I'm an absolute asshole, with some of the traits being awfully low. I was ready to start messaging people. If only the dog feces that was that app was not Wall of China style cock blocking me. This, this is bullshit. Because the app is that poorly made for the phone platform, that most times it won't even let you send a message and will just give you infinite loading screen. But I would not give up on finding that love of my life. So I used the desktop version instead, which is far superior than the app. But then once again, got cock blocked because most of the women had been sent messages I was trying to send and the app thought I wasn't being original enough. So it refused to send any of my messages till I came up with these doozies. These Jeffrey Dahmer ass propositions for communications. I sent these to a majority of the people I matched with, which was around 20 people. And surprise, surprise, no one responded. I can't believe no one wanted to message me. But on the Duelicious subreddit and in the reviews, it said there are a lot of dead users on the platform. People that have long stopped using the app and probably uninstalled it which on apps like Bumble and Tinder, they automatically remove you from the dating pool. But this app does not. So there are a lot of dead accounts on the platform. And it's totally not an excuse because my ego is so hurt right now. But moving on, are there actually incels and femcels on this platform? Yes, and a lot of them. And a lot of mentally deranged buyers. 
Here are just a few examples of the female side. Some self-admitting to being a femcell, and some just straight up being degenerates. On the guy side being somewhat similar, just a lot more femboys. Who would have thought? But relatively no incels to be seen, or self-admitting to it like with the femcells. But with my own look relatively sparse, I started looking at others' experiences on the app, and oh boy. Well, despite the app being completely dog shit, I'm talking a higher success rate if you actually just walked up and talked to females. When we both know you have an appearance that makes it look like you were bludgeoned to death a few days prior. But surprise, surprise, people have had some success on this platform and were kind enough to supply their totally true story. Because where the app has its downfall, it actually has a pretty active Reddit community where people mostly share their problems with the app, like how they were talking to somebody for weeks, almost daily, and the app decided to be a bit quirky and just delete their account. So their only contact with that person is gone. Starting off strong, we have a picture with the caption, met my future husband on Duelicious. We finally got to see each other a couple of weeks ago. He flew all the way here to see me and I love him even more after meeting him in person. After four months of long distance, one in a million. Aw, isn't that cute? I bet that makes your blood boil, the fact you will never find the same. Day 19,300,999,291 of no messages. I don't know what I'm doing wrong, I know about the ratio, but I just want something. Anything. Just give up. They don't want us. They're on here as a joke just to fuck with us, it's over. Just delete your app and give up. We never had a chance. The average male experience. It's been two weeks and still no one tried reaching out to me. Even if I tried to reach someone... Even if I tried to reach someone out... Even if I tried to reach out to someone, they just ignore me. I'm reading this like I have fucking dyslexia. Like, that actually made me question my reading comprehension. No wonder no one is messaging you back if you're that illiterate. I cannot believe that actually stunlocked me. Maybe don't give me your Discord if you're going to ghost me overnight. This has happened like three times. Could any girls give me insight on why this is happening? The chain of events is always the same. During the day we're talking, it's fine. Sometimes I get asked if I want their Discord, then overnight, it's always, this person is only accepting messages from friends and I'm unfriended. Is it done maliciously? Is it BPD reaction? Were they just bored or not interested the entire time and being nice by messaging me then conveniently slipping away when I wouldn't notice? I don't get it. A lot of these more recent stories are sort of negative, but there is one of these stories that I've been edging you with throughout this video, and that is, I lost my virginity to a guy I met on Duelicious. I lost my virginity to a guy I met on Duelicious, I 23F, Met this guy, 23M, on Duelicious. I'm from Southeast Asia and he's from Eastern Europe. But we both live in Germany due to job slash study. At first he wasn't my type. My type is older men with long dark hair and facial hair. He's the opposite of that. I wasn't that interested at first, but he kept texting me for months and I started to think maybe he's genuine and I could actually open up for this person. In September 2024, we met for the first time in person. I agreed to hang out because we have so many things in common. I feel lonely my whole life and it's rare for me to find someone who's in the same wavelength. We went to a museum and ate at a taco truck. Nothing really changed after the hangout, I still didn't have any romantic feelings for him. But nevertheless, they actually had a second date. He arrived at the Airbnb in the evening, I finished my job late at night at 10 o'clock. We decided to meet up at a middle point because there was no buses slash trains. It was a cold, dark autumn night in October, the left and right side of the road are fields. It was scary, but when I finally saw him, everything became easier. We continued our journey to the gas station slash Airbnb together. The next bit is talking about some heavy petting, but finishes off with, on that day for the first time in my life, I truly feel alive. I can't imagine a life without him now. I think I'm in love. And that was posted by a femcel, by the way. So that means 
maybe even you have a chance. In conclusion, I think this app is actually useless. The only benefit to it is that you can meet fellow degenerates. But apart from that, the matching system is terrible, the questions are, are somewhat inconsistent and make no sense. Like answering a question on the position of my right testicle is totally going to match me with my future wife. And the fact the messaging system is absolutely terrible, with most people not getting notifications when people send them a message, and some people getting their accounts deleted. This is overall a terrible app, but is a breeding ground and meeting place for degenerates, if you're into that. And I guarantee one of you losers have started the download for the app currently, thinking you're going to find a degenerate like yourself. Well, sorry to spray liquid feces on your parade, buddy, but they're actually begging for money for these server costs. And the fact that most fem cells and incels are unemployed probably means this app is doomed. And what else is doomed is my attempts to get the YouTube voice recognition to recognise my voice through my thick accent. Because every time I say like and subscribe, it just doesn't light up. But yeah, bye bye